Welcome back. Now, how do these two things sound? Making money and being able to do so from home. Um, amazing. And if it sounds like a dream to you, Anik Single says he knows how to make it a reality. So, Anik, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me here. I'm excited to be here. Well, we are talking about digital publishing today. Mm -hmm. So really explain to our viewers what that is. Sure. Okay. So listen, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you wanted to take information you have, right? And you wanted to put it into a book. What would that take? That you have to call a publishing company months and months of trying to get that thing into a bookstore. Well, the internet's changed everything. We can put information like this, whether you're, there's so many ways. You could do an email list, you could do a blog, you could create a product. And so people have discovered this. And now what that means is if I want to learn how to do something, I can go direct to a source that is the expert at it. Whether they're a stay-at-home stay mom, that's, you know, they're great at rose gardening, or they want, they're so great at taking care of their toddlers, they can teach that you know, on the internet. They can publish, that's digital publishing. Okay, and I know you talk about something called content marketing. What are kind of some more examples of that? Sure, so content marketing is when you basically go out, put out content. So let's say you have a blog okay. and you make a post on it, you give away five tips. You're giving away free content, yep. you're generating a lot of value for people who are reading it, and so that's going to start building that relationship and getting people to come to your website. Of course, in turn, then you have this, hey, I have this program also that you can purchase and get more advanced information. So that's the process of using content for marketing. It's kind of lure, lure them in. Yeah, you know, yeah, give, a like bit of, give a little bit of free stuff away yeah. and then, you know, sell them when it's Right. When, it, when it's the right yeah. time. Well, you definitely are the one to talk to about this. You're very, this is very great. So I know we're talking about, you know, stay-at-home moms or anybody who really who wants to work from home, but how is digital publishing kind of changing education? Digital publishing is, I believe, completely evolving education. Listen, what is education as far as we know? We go to school, then you go to college, and I'll give a fun story. My professor who taught me entrepreneurship, I went to him once and I said, hey, what's the last business you ran? And he looked at me and he said, no, I've never had a company. I just teach this stuff. And I said, well, that's a little concerning because I paid a lot of money for this class. I would <laughs> hope to learn from an entrepreneur. So today, what digital publishing is doing is making it so first, I can go to the true expert who's doing it. Right? They don't have to disrupt their life and become a college professor. They can blend their education into their life. And secondly, it's making it so it's so much less expensive. So look at software. Back in the day, you know, 20 years ago, Microsoft and all these big companies will sell you software for hundreds of dollars. Today, you can get an app for $3. And so it's it completely evolved the technology industry. Digital publishing is now doing that to the education industry by making it a lot less expensive and a heck of a lot more accessible. Well, I'm going to kind of play a little bit of devil's advocate right now because we're saying words like software and apps and blogs and stuff like that. And this may all be to somebody kind of like, whoa, you know what I mean? Oh, of course. Technology kind of scares me a little bit. You know, I, this all sounds great, but the technology part kind of scares me a little bit. What would you have to say to that person? So, you know, there was a day where cavemen were so scared of fire, right? right? And today we have matches and lighters yeah. and we have all kinds of... It's technology is something we need to embrace. Today... I, you know, I cannot go on the internet and get a web page up or maybe even get Skype to turn on. There's a great joke in the company where I can't even get Skype to work half the time. But there's automated tools for all this stuff now. There are, you know, when you want to get a website up, I can publish myself. I don't have to know technology. I said software, I said apps. It's very much so click, click. A lot of our top students are grandmothers. You know, their grandmother's partnering with their grandchildren to build this business. And so it's, it's, such, a, it's such a great thing because you can do it as a family. And trust me, there is, you know, t 10 years ago, yes, technology was an issue. Today, it's been automated. Wow. Wow. So there's no excuse. No. This, and this is really right for everybody, everybody of all ages. I think that's great. So if we have a passion and we want to make it into this amazing business, I think the first step would probably be to get your book. Absolutely. The Circle of Profit. So tell us more about that. Sure. So 14 years of my experience, my knowledge, I started my company and I started digital publishing in college, right? And that's all I've ever done. It's my passion. It's my life. I took everything I learned and I put it in this book. And actually the system I've put in this book, I've done not just once, I've done it twice. I've also tell the story of what happened when I went away from the system, which was bad. I went 1.7 million into debt, oh. I, you know, fell apart. And then I went and book put the system back into action in 16 months I was back on the top so really the book is split into two quick phases and it just shows someone who seriously has no experience and might be listening to us right now is thinking mm -hmm. what is this it sounds interesting but I know nothing about it hey they can actually get this book and by the end of the book they're gonna be like they've known digital publishing for 10 years they're gonna have a full knowledge of it and they'll know what steps to take to move forward 
And I think that's great because like you said, a lot of people have an idea. They just don't know really where to start it. They always say that first step is always the hardest step to take. Absolutely. And you kind of let somebody learn from your mistakes, yeah. let you kind <laughs> of walk them step by step through that. And I think that's a, a great idea. And like you said, take advantage of the technology that nowadays is really super user friendly. Absolutely. And we'll tell everybody what technology to use, where to go, how to use it right in that book. I think this is great. I think somebody right now listening is going, this is what I've been waiting for. Somebody just to hold my hand through it. And we're so happy that you came. So thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. To get a free book, you can actually log on to circleofprofit.com. And to learn more about the author, visit aniksingal.com. Now don't move a muscle. We'll be right back.